Cycling clothing has evolved a lot over the years. Most of us wear tight-fitting aerodynamic jerseys and shorts like this, as this is what the pros started to wear. However, pro riders now wear this. An all-in-one jersey and shorts, a onesie. The question, therefore, is, should I wear a onesie too? We're going to investigate by trying them out so that we can explain the pros and cons of them and also try and find out how much faster they are for a normal rider by doing a time trial. Let's do it. But first, some background about how cycling clothing has evolved. And we're using Castelli clothing in this video because they're our kit sponsor here at GCN, but also because they came up with the aero race suit concept, an idea that has proved so successful that pretty much every major cycling clothing brand has copied it and now makes their own version. But 20 years ago, riders were just using flappy jerseys. Yeah, this started to change in 2007 when Castelli introduced the free aero race jersey for the Saunier Duval team. At the time, many riders shunned the new tech despite the huge aero benefit. And this is something of a theme in cycling that seems to happen again and again. New tech appears and it makes riders faster, but then most riders refuse to use it because it's something different and is perceived to not be cool. But then someone wears it and wins a race. And then all of a sudden, everyone starts to use it. I think people are just scared of change, man. Yeah. Anyhow, roll on to 2011 and Costelli created the San Remo suit designed to try to help riders win the race Milan San Remo, the longest one day race in the calendar. The item was essentially an aero shorts and jersey stitched together for a better fit and it was designed for racing and had pockets in the back. It was calculated that by using this suit, riders would have a significant aerodynamic advantage compared to using a standard shorts and jersey for the entire duration of the race. Now, it didn't win San Remo, but it did win Paris-Roubaix, thanks to Johan van Sumeren. Now, had it been Cancellara or Boonen, the peloton might not have taken much notice, but van Sumeren was a rank outsider and he just won the most prestigious monument in cycling history. Now, he'd also had a puncture in the closing kilometers of the race, and it's been calculated that had he not been wearing the suit, his chasers in shorts and jersey would have caught him. Amateur riders quickly adopted aero jerseys, yeah, yeah. but the onesie hasn't really taken off. Yet you can buy them. So let's look at the differences and the pros and cons. But first, let's establish the aero benefit. We have our test loop here in Spain. It's 15 kilometers long on this beautiful coastal road with its undulating terrain. The kind of terrain that you'd encounter in, say, what, Gran Fondo? Yeah, yeah. so we're going to do two runs. The first one is going to be in our standard aero jersey and shorts. And then we're going to repeat the test at the same power, but Alex is going to wear the Castelli San Remo suit, which basically combines these two items. And I'm going to wear the Castelli BTW suit. We're both going to hold 200 watts as we feel this is representative of what many decent amateurs can do in a Grand Fondo or big ride. For Alex, that works out as two and a half watts per kilo. Yep. And for me, that's 2.9 watts per kilo. And the reason why we're going to ride at this lower power is because we know these garments are faster for pros, but what about at a, 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 you know, a power that more amateurs can sustain? Yeah. That's what we want to find out. Is it worth wearing something more aero at that, at that power output? Let's do it. All right. Run one, jersey shorts. Alex is off first. Can we give you some beeps? Oh, I'd love some beeps, please, yeah. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, man, he's, he's away. Beeps. Remember, he's on a race, 200 watts. Yeah, 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 I got you. All right. I'm going to go in a minute, so there's a gap between us. Now, as you can imagine, we're out on the open roads. There's lots of different variables that could affect our results. However, we are going to do our absolute best to try and limit that as much as possible. So we're using a power meter. We're going to ride in a really consistent position across both the runs. And we're just generally going to try and mimic everything as best as is humanly possible out in the real world. So I mean, after all, they're the conditions that we all ride in. This is me now, 
three, two, one, go. It's gonna hold the same position on both runs in the drops like this, as it's easy to maintain a consistent position with both garments. Right, just reach the turnaround point. And back. Coming into the finish. Now. Run one done, bang on, 200 watts. Quite pleased about. And uh, now to get into the onesie. We've got our benchmark. Let's see if there's a difference. Here you go, Alex. Time what? to get changed. What the hell is this? It looks like a baby grow. How it, it's, it's a, <laughs> this is a cutting edge piece of aero technology. It looks like a lizard has shed it and then died. Well, don't worry, I've got, I've got you one too. There you go. <laughs> All right, let's go. Why, why, is, why is it not in an adult size? That is your size. That's not my size. That is your size. It's not. <laughs> oh, oh, wait, it is my size. Oh, okay. This looks really weird. That's how you're gonna go. Don't film me, I'm getting my chap out. <laughs> okay, both of us fitted into these slender little numbers. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I'm gonna count it as a victory first thing. No, I've even fitted in this thing. Yeah. I mean, I feel faster already. <laughs> um, right, you go next. Yeah. Again, I'm gonna count you in. Oh, beeps, please. Beep, 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 beep. Oh. And he's off. Oh. Speed, I feel speed. Three, two, one, and we're off. One of the things you can probably see immediately is the fit of this is just so much better. Even on the best sort of aero jerseys, you often get bunching around here. But on this, it's just much smoother fit. I've uh, also got pockets on the back like a jersey, but an important difference is these are often smaller and they're not quite as accessible as the pockets that you get on a lot of jerseys because of the tailored fit and also they're just a bit more aero. Also got zips on the front, so I can undo this like a jersey if I need to. And I've got a zip on this one that comes up from the bottom so I can have a wee. We'll just wait for Alex to finish his second run and then we'll have a look at the results. Oh. Well, oh. oh, that's over down at the cafe, got some tapas, but we'll go through the results. Uh, so, on the standard run, the first run, I did it in 31 minutes, 10 seconds, averaging 200 watts, bang on. Second run, same power, 200 watts. I mean, I'm consistent. You are consistent. I was 48 seconds faster. I did it in 30.22. That's impressive. For the same um, effort. Shall I run you through the difference between my, my results? So I yep. rode at a slightly lower average power, so I ended up with 174 watt average on my first run, 175 watts on my second run. So we're like within a consistency uh -huh. of one watt. However, with my aero one piece onesie on, I was one minute, 25 seconds faster. So I was like significantly faster than you. Well, there's more of you. That is true. I'm okay. quite a significantly larger person. Cool. So there you have it. It's, it's pretty clear cut, hmm. uh, but it makes sense aerodynamically because you know, your, your body should make much more difference than your bike 
and your wheels because there's there's much more of it presented to the wind. Yeah, anyhow, before we all run out and buy a one-piece aero suit, there are some other things that we need to consider. Yeah, I mean, for example, if you crash, um, it can happen, does happen. <laughs> you might damage, you know, you damage your kit, it rips it, you've potentially ruined kind of like your, your shirts your shorts and your jersey. Yeah, you can't Whereas just buy if you were in yeah, if you were in separate items, you might get away with just say ripping your shorts or ripping your jersey and you still got the other piece that's okay. I mean, have, uh, that was a bigger difference than what I thought it was going to be. Me and, too, yeah. And you know, I'm I'm a big fan of, of the one piece thing, even more so now after seeing what that saving <laughs> yeah. was. If our GCN kit was in a one piece, I would wear it all the time. Yeah, I'm not so sure I would. Yeah. I well, feel, yeah. Confused by the idea. Well, we want to know what you guys think. So, having watched this video, has it changed your mind? Would you wear a one piece or, or, or wouldn't you? Are you still against them? Yeah, we really want to know what everyone thinks yeah, about it. Let this. us know in the comments and also we're going to set up a poll in the GCN app that you can vote on. So, you can let us know your thoughts. Well, there. you could just be concerned that the fashion police might come after I you. I think they look better because I think they look, they're great, they're better cut. They look like nicer and flush across, across your chest and your tummy. You do look quick at your lunch. I think they look good. Um, well, should we eat this stuff before it goes cold? Yeah, right. I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it interesting. We'll see you in the next one. Um, we're going to eat all this tapas now. Mm. Yes. Oh, I couldn't eat it before. I'm, I'm not going to fit into the suit after this. <laughs> mm. oh, look at that croquettes.